Hi, I'm Aruna Chauhan, a certified Canadian career counselor, researcher, and educator with more than a decade experience. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna go through some general questions asked by the interview panel for teacher interviews. I'm also going to talk about the areas you need to focus and also the tips to answer these questions. Well, through this video, an attempt is also made to help the forthcoming teachers to achieve their maximum potential and to get their dream job. So let's start. Well, the interview panel is definitely going to ask you this question. And the question is, tell us about yourself. So to answer this question, you need to focus on first your qualification, then your teaching skills, your use of technology, what type of working culture you are expected to give to your classroom and the students, and of course your previous work experience if you have any. So this question is a sort of warming up question and at the same time a wonderful opportunity for you to make the interviewer to know about your working culture, your teaching skills, your technology usage and talents. Remember not to waste it by telling them about your uh, family or your home life. Honestly speaking they are not interested in your home rather than they are looking for the qualities or teaching skills, techniques, capabilities that make you fit in their team. So what difference can you make to the company goals through your skills and attributes? This is what they are looking for when they ask you this question. So the tips here are put your efforts to fit yourself in the job description and Prepare your educational background in advance. So for this, you need to read the advertisement or the document with required specification thoroughly to know the expectations of the school or the district for that role. So put your efforts to fit yourself as per the attributes mentioned. Using examples of your past job experience related to these attributes is a very smart strategy to answer this question. So always remember your words are your power and use them to the most. So you may start your answer as, I'm a very hardworking, focused and detail oriented person with determination. I'm advanced user of technology with years of teaching experience. I'm very positive and renowned for my working accuracy, teaching strategies, skills and techniques during my previous job. So this is just a sample. I'm sure you have abundant qualities as a teacher. So give time and add your skills and strengths and capabilities when you are preparing your educational background in advance. The another most important question asked by almost all the interview panels of the school or district is what makes you interested in our district or in our school? So for um, to answer this question, um, you should focus on the areas like your positivity, how positive you are for the school or for the district, how enthusiastic you are to join that particular school or the district and moreover that job is a wonderful golden opportunity for you. So. The tips here are share your passion, enthusiasm and positive things about the district or the school you are applying. Number two, go through the job description document. Three, show passions instead of other reasons as money or status. The good thing is to visit the website of the district for its mission, vision and goals. 
so this is the time when you may use your previous uh, preparation again i would say go thoroughly to the vacancy document and the person specification to answer this question the job description and information you have collected from the district or school's website and the mission vision goals on the website the most important thing is about a speech so you should always go thoroughly to its content before the interview so you may also talk about one or two employees who work for the district or school say the positive things about the organization so the sample answer here could be it was good to know that the district provide positive environment and care to their employees the mission of the district is the need of the hour my teaching philosophy is complements to the philosophy of the district the schools focus on academics character and community perfectly matches with my own philosophy it's easier to teach well-rounded student the best lesson plan in the world cannot help a child who is struggling in all other areas of life so i believe that this is the perfect place for me to use my teaching methodologies and techniques for the betterment of the students so you may talk about um, that working with the school is a wonderful opportunity for you to grow and improve as an employee <coughs> so how do you evaluate your students so generally when this question is asked uh, i have seen most of uh, my clients they just um, give a very generic concert for that and it never works so i'll suggest you to avoid generic answers cite an accomplishment and how it helped your students you can talk about your previous experience in that so i would say that um, you should focus on understanding of assessments that's important show your enthusiasm that you are using different ways different methods for evaluating your students and also your strategy what type of strategy you are adopting so uh you can also uh talk about your understanding so the tip here is uh show your understanding of the assessment versus test yes you must know that all the tests are it's not only evaluation it's something different and deep and you can share your different methods of evaluation and assessment skills so the sample answer may be to evaluate a student i always use formal and informal methods that include quizzes and tests moreover i grade all activities like reports recitation desk work projects essay writing and group activities one student during last year named madhu showed a strong grasp of concept during in the classroom activities but performed poorly during testing through working closely with her i uncovered an undiagnosed vision problem Madhu got corrective lenses and his test score rose to match her in the class comprehension. So remember through this question the examiner or the your interview panel wants to know your assessment skills versus simple tests. The next question is tell me about your classroom management so when you are a teacher asking about classroom management is but obvious because most of the new teachers face problem with the classroom management so while answer this question you need to focus on understanding of class management 
you need to focus on learning outcomes what type of results you are expecting and about the structured activities throughout the day in your classroom so many of my clients going into an interview they think that they are asking them about behavior management but not really they are mostly asking about your routines do you have an opening activity warms up generals uh, at the beginning of the period or like that so i would say the tips here are um share your opening activities or warm up or journals and share your previous experience of a structured classroom activities so the sample answer here is you may talk about pre-test and post-test activities that you conducted before the beginning of the class and at the end of the class to reach the learning outcomes moreover uh, you may stress on your uh, structured activities throughout the day in the classroom you may also add that i use triple seven rule as no activity lasts more than seven minutes as students begin to lose their interest sometime so this is a perfect answer and you can all use all these tests and all these techniques to answer this question the next question may be in your opinion what is the most frustrating about teaching so through this question the panel wants to know if you are discouraged easily and also your level of patience so the you need to focus on first your positivity that as a teacher you are a very positive person even in the most frustrating situations you are passionate for your work and you are enthusiastic and teaching is not something that you are doing for the sake of money or status rather it's a golden opportunity for you to grow so the tips here are show your inner strength through your answer and tell them a situation you handled during your previous experience so <clears throat> as i have already told you instead of uh, using the generic answers it's always good to talk about the situation from your previous experience that explain itself better so you may answer uh, such as at my last position i worked with several children who were not trying these were very bright kids with overconfidence it was frustrating to see their potential go waste a research based program was prepared by me to incorporate lesson plans and students ideas this strategy worked well and the engagement level of the students and their score went up just in two months so it's a wonderful strategy for you that you are uh, taking the students ideas in your lesson plan that's why student never lose interest so this shows how you converted a frustrating uh, learning condition or situation into a fruitful effective and um, maximum learning situation the interview panel may ask you walk me through a typical lesson or can you deliver a lesson so the interviewer is not just looking for a quality lesson or a lesson that is 100% correct and or fully engaged actually they also want to know your understanding of the planning lessons like what when and how you are going to be you are going to proceed in your classroom and how your planning is bringing the outcomes that is the maximum learning in the classroom so you need to focus on planning understanding and knowledge while answer the questions so the tips here are show your understanding of the planning prepare a lesson plan so you can do that in advance 
or you can pick a lesson plan from your previous job experience or work experience a clear understanding of the complete process of delivering is the heart and soul of this question so you need to focus on that so this question requires a bit more preparation on your part than a typical interview questions if you have an example lesson from a previous role whether you were a teacher or taught something to someone at home that's great if not consider whipping up a quick lesson plan you might like to give talk through what it's look like from start to finish why exactly you decided to take that approach and allow the interviewer to ask question about your process so this is the thing that you can take care before answering these questions and if you are um uh leaning on a past experience also highlight the parts of the lesson you would um change based on how it went so the most important thing is you delivered a lesson in the past how you organized that lesson and uh what happened as a result of that it's better to use an example that could use a bit of tweaking rather than one that goes smoothly so this shows that growth mindset interviewers will be on the uh, lookout for so i would suggest you um for a great presentation success the important things are number 1 know your content start with a structure third use appropriate teaching aids and of course delivery of the content the interview panel may ask you about what's your opinion about uh, your professional development so it's not about that you have got the job it's about your concept of professional development of your own so through this question the interviewer wants to know your perspective about your own professional growth and the areas you are interested in so you should focus on one passion for learning that you are always curious and you love to learn so many things online or offline knowledge of your resources and your teaching efficacy so the tips here are research online and offline available teaching learning resources and share how you want to expand your teaching efficacy so you can talk about various online offline resources such as books videos documentaries seminars workshops and you may also join some educational society so to answer you can use this sample answer i will read books and blogs watch videos online subscribe to journals attend conferences and workshops or to be a member of an educator society in my field i will work on resources latest trends in education as issues related to psychology growth and development um i would be learning uh, flexible sitting blended learning hybrid learning or um trauma informed teaching and gamification of learning so when you talk about all this thing the interview panel will come to know that you are aware of so many things going on and um you believe in the professional growth and development in future so all these things will lead you to get your dream job when you tell them about your teaching efficacy the next common question that is asked is why should we hire you hmm so this is a tricky question 
because here the interviewer is seeking an answer that demonstrate you can make a positive difference to their school or district in that role you are applying for so to answer this question uh, you should focus on number one you should show that you are a positive person you have good professional experience and you believe in the professional growth and teaching is not something for money or status it's it's your passion it's your love so at this point you have to talk about the values you may add to the teaching learning process growth and all around development of the students so the tips here are share your passion enthusiasm and positive things go through the vacancy document that's very very important whenever you answer always try to bring those qualities into your answer that are prescribed for the person in the advertisement and of course make emphasis your experience your knowledge and your skills so you may answer that if hired my skills my teaching methodologies technique and qualities will bring immediate impact and i'm very quick in learning with the new instructions of the school or the district i'm a flexible person here you may also talk about what you can do to achieve a school's goal or mission as a very effective team member The next question is um, describe your teaching style. So this is a very important question. This question is used to determine your teaching style and evaluate how it fits into the school's teaching philosophy. So it's very important. The employer wants to know that you are helping students both uh, make them develop acad uh, academically and personally inside and outside the classroom and how you are making a contribution to their personal development too so by researching the school you can tailor your answer to be consistent with their overall learning philosophy so long as you are truthful the things will be better for you so from my perspective you should focus on uh, that your teaching style is hybrid and open every child is important for you and well-rounded lesson plans are the heart and soul of your teaching style so you can use here the tips here are research online and offline teaching learning styles then flexibility in teaching style to bring maximum level of learning and ensure the growth of every student so it shows that each and every kid is important to you and your teaching style is polished and simonized keeping in view all these things so the sample answer you can give here I would consider my teaching style to be learning by doing, collaborative, interactive and demonstrative. I believe in including several learning styles including visual, auditory, written and project, narratives, role play, story writing to accommodate every student in my class. I develop well-rounded lesson plans so I may include uh, multiple learning styles to ensure that all students may have maximum growth so this is the perfect answer that you are using a hybrid style you are not confined to one particular teaching style so one more important question is um, what questions do you have for us well it looks as if it's your turn to ask the questions 
but it's again a way to check your interest in the job by the interview panel. So instead of asking questions on salary or your selection, so it's always good to focus on your passion and your positive interest. So the tip here is ask very genuine questions that shows your sincerity. That's the most important thing. So you can ask, please tell me the most important thing you know now as an educator that you wish you knew before you begin your teaching career. So the answers you receive will relieve what your interviewers most value about education and this insight will allow you to tailor your closing conversation to their interest. Hope this video will help you to get your dream. Good luck.